What's up, guys? As you could see, I've got kind of a, a different setup right now because I had to relocate to the living room so my computer isn't here so I can't connect my USB microphone to it and stuff. The one on my camera is not bad, but it's it really bothers me. So um, I'm just going to try this out. So may the 4th be with you. I don't know when this is going to upload, so I don't know if Star Wars Day the 4th, May 4th is today or tomorrow. It depends on when it's uploaded. But since it is that time of year where it's the Star Wars Day, I was like, why not wait to talk about my experience at Star Wars Celebration on that day? If you guys don't know already, I am a huge Star Wars fan. I mean, I was a Star Wars fan since I could remember, since I was like that big. <laughs> I knew my brother was going to go to Star Wars Celebration a while ago. Uh, my older brother, because he was like, I bought the tickets like two years ago and stuff. I think it's the first time that it's ever been out here in uh, in the in uh, Anaheim. It was in Paris, I think, last uh, the last two years. Because it's every two years. So I was like, when am I going to get another opportunity to go when it's not that far? It's it was it, it Anaheim is about a, a, a an hour and twenty minutes away from me. So I was like, I've got to go to this. And my brother was going to go to all days. I think it's four days. It was four days. He went to all four days. Um, and he had a blast. He saw the actual trailer, like, right there live when it was um, shown. He said that he totally just broke down. <laughs> he started crying um, at the end of the trailer. If you guys have seen it, I'm sure you guys know what, what it is. But yeah, I cried as well when I saw it online. But he was there. <laughs> So you said it was just so overwhelming. And then the freaking actors were there. Like Mark Hamill, Peter Mayhew, uh, Carrie Fisher, Anthony Daniels. Uh, R2-D2 was on the stage and stuff. So I was like, man, I would have been sobbing the whole time if I had been there. So my brother was going to stay out there. He was gonna, he, he had gotten a hotel and stuff. And he was there with uh, my sister-in-law, his wife. So they spent the pretty much the, the that weekend there but then he was like we're gonna go home on saturday night we could drop by and pick you up for sunday because they were gonna go they were just gonna stay at the hotel those three days and then drive back on sunday so i was like yes <laughs> please take me with you so i got the ticket for sunday um, it's Chewbacca. They all had different pictures. Um, my brother's was a four day, so his was Han Solo, I believe it was. I think this was my favorite one. Some guy wanted to to trade it. He was like, you want it? He, I'll trade it for, for Han Solo. I was like, um, no, hello, this is Chewbacca. <laughs> X-Wings and stuff. What I enjoyed the most was seeing all the fans um, dressed up, all the cosplay. I was asking my brother, I was like, these are fans? And he's like, yeah. I was like, my God, man. Some of these fans made R2 units. There were so many R2 units at the, at the, at the, at the convention center. Do you know want a picture with R2? It was just amazing. Different R2 units, and they looked like R2. They weren't like all cheesy or anything. They looked like R2, and I was like, wow. And there were people in the crowd controlling them, but they were like hiding, so you didn't know where they were. So it just looked like some random R2 unit that was like messing with you. There was this one guy that was right there showing people how he did it and stuff. It was this R2 unit that, that you could see inside it, which was really cool. Perfect. 
Some of these fans, the, the costumes they made were just absolutely, I, I was blown away. Some of them was were so, so cool. Some of the stormtroopers, um, the ideas they had with them, like they would mix, like a, there was a Darth Maul stormtrooper that was really cool. Uh, there was a Boba Fett stormtrooper. There was a lot of people in Mandalorian armor, like the, the Boba Fett armor. Um, there was like a little parade. I didn't, I wasn't there when there, that was there. A lot of people just walking down with like fat armor. I was like, man, these people are freaking skilled at what they do. I think one of my favorite ones, I don't think I got a picture or footage of it, but there was this guy walking around like a Chewbacca, but he was dressed as like a professor. <laughs> It was so cool because he had like a little tie, like a little bow tie, and and he looked like a professor, like pants and and like a like a blazer and stuff, and the his hands were furry, so he looked so funny, and I was like, oh my god, man, I wanted to get a picture, but he was just he walked past me. If you take out all the crazy Star Wars fans and all the cosplay and all that, and the 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 idea that the the actors are actually there. It, it's pretty much like any other con where you buy things. You know, there's vendors. They're selling a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Some stuff are like they make themselves custom made or other stuff you've seen before. Um, you know, like Funko Pops and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what it was. Um, plus, you know, the signings and, and all the Star Wars fans. So that's what made it for me. Do they talk? No. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> Before um, I went, he got me this Chewbacca, which is like a those those monkey sock puppet things. And I thought it was really cute. I was like, aw. So he got me this, which is perfect. Before I went, what I really, really wanted was I wanted to get my C-3PO signed. This is a giant Pez dispenser that I got a long time ago um, at a Star Wars museum that they put up in L.A. for a short period of time. And I know they have a Darth Vader and I think they have a Boba Fett as well, but I, I'm my favorite character is C-3PO. So uh, when I saw it, I was like, and so people have actually asked me, they're like, are there like giant Pez in there? See, it does open. It is like an actual Pez dispenser. Um, and if I twi I'll show you what he does when I push his head back. Um, but it, it's not a giant Pez in there. It, what it was, was the Pez packets. You would put Pez packets in here. As much as I would have wanted a signature from everyone, because Billy D. Williams was there. He plays Lando. Um, Peter Mayhew plays Chewbacca. Anthony Daniels, um, C-3PO. Uh, Kenny Baker, who is R2-D2. Uh, Jeremy Bullock, who is Boba Fett, was there. All the three Fets were there, not not all four, because there's four Fets. There was three of the Fets. Um, little, little Boba Fett. Django Fett wasn't there. Kenny Baker is gonna be there. He's not there now. Uh, De Billy D. Williams is gonna be there. Carrie Fisher is over there. And the the two Boba Fetts. Uh, the two older Boba Fetts, the stunt double and Jeremy Bullock. Dude, he's he's a Fett. He is a Fett. That guy right there with the black, by the the scout trooper helmet. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's one of the Fets. I, I I his face looks very familiar. This one right here at the table. Yeah, I don't I can't place him though. I don't know which one he is. A lot of Ewoks were there, which was really cool to see. Oh, Ray Park was there, who is Darth Maul. There was a lot of people there. The only ones I got to see were Jeremy Bullock, but I only got to see the back of him because <laughs> he wouldn't turn around, and the, the line was huge. Well, that already shows that he's probably more 
okay with interacting with fans. Yeah. Like all the other people would be like, I need this barrier because these people are crazy. <laughs> I don't want to get too close. There's another fit right there. The lady fit. The lady fit. <laughs> you won't turn around though. There he is. I saw Peter Mayhew from way far away. I was like, oh my God, that's Peter Mayhew, uh, Ch Chewbacca. I saw Anthony Daniels, like, <laughs> when I got there. I, that he's the one that I really wanted to see. He's the one that I really wanted a picture with because he's C-3PO. When you got to the celebration, you had to wait in line, this huge line to get into the venue. Um, so everyone would get there and then just wait. And then you would be let in at 10 o'clock, I think it was. My brother was like, every day Anthony Daniels has walked down the, the line, that, down the aisles of the line, just saying hi to people. Please, please. Thanks for coming. Oh, my God. Oh, You're having fun waiting in line? Is it fun waiting in line? Yes. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's awful. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. And he's like, but it's been at different hours. He was like, sometimes he comes down at eight, eight, eight o'clock. Sometimes he's here at nine o'clock. He's like, I hope, I hope you get to see him on Sunday when you're there. So we got there like around nine forty-five or something like that. And he was like, maybe he already passed by. And I was like, oh no, like I really wanted to see him. We're waiting there, and then all of a sudden we see, we start hearing like cheering and clapping, and I'm like, <gasps> and I turn around, and it's Anthony Daniels, and he's walking down our row, and I'm like, there was these bars. Like this thingy that's just like that, you know, those things that, that create the line so that you don't go over them. I went under that so that I could go to him. I went to give him a hug, but he pulled back. So I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, I know some people are germaphobes, but also this was a con, like a huge con. He's with people all the time right now. So I was like, I'm sure he probably doesn't want to get sick. Like he doesn't want to get the con plague or whatever it's called. So he was like, force hug. <laughs> and I, I put out my hands and he puts out his hands and we did this like force hug. When he was coming by, I was shaking. I was like, oh my god i'm gonna pass out right now <laughs> that was probably the, the highlight of my experience there um getting to to do a force hug with anthony daniels oh and and right then it was so weird because the picture that i got uh there's this guy on the side with a red cap and right after that after anthony daniels left he comes up to me and he's like are you gamer md83 and i was like oh my god <laughs> a subscriber and he's like oh i love your your videos and i've been a subscriber of yours and stuff that's always like super heartwarming that's not that hasn't happened to me many times i think it's happened to me two or three times it's funny because this picture was so special to me because this is anthony daniels but my subscriber is right there as well and i was like that is so cool i love that picture so much what i was saying that the autographs cost quite a bit and um for an autograph from anthony daniels was like 60 dollars, i think which is not that bad but i was like do i really want to spend 60 dollars on an autograph i was like forget it just just forget it you know I, I, it's it's i'm not gonna die if this isn't signed or anything you know i already got the picture uh with anthony daniels which is already Pro more even more special to me than than a signature so my brother was like what do you want he was like this is your day like this is the day that we do what you want to do and i was like oh cool okay the first thing he told me he was like you know what you have to get are these posters the the star wars posters but as lego um i thought they were really cool he got them first when he was there and he's like you need to get one of these this guy's just like giving them out he didn't have a new hope he only had jedi and empire strikes back even the back is cool they were free so i was like okay yeah for show sure. oh and he got me this star wars the force awakens mark hamill was 125 ian mcdermott who is the emperor is 90 uh carrie fisher 70 uh, Anthony Daniels, 60. Kenny Baker, 60. Now, if Harrison Ford had been there, God bless his soul, because 
that would have been a whole new story. I think I would have probably caused some kind of ruckus. <laughs> I, I would have just wanted to like photobomb something, anything, just like, eh! <laughs> and then just like grab onto him and never let go. So what I ended up wanting that wasn't insanely priced or a price where I was like, that it, it, okay, that's, that's okay for me to spend right now for this was the rebels the star wars rebel rebels were there um not all of them they were there all they were all there on saturday um on sunday uh the only one that was missing was freddie prince jr which i was like dude i wanted him to be there but steve bloom was there on sunday as well so i was like you guys know how big of a fan i am of steve blooms it's Ogren. Steve Bloom is the voice of pretty much everything <laughs> in anime and in video games. He is a freaking legend. He's the voice of Spike in Cowboy Bebop. He is the voice of Ogren in Dragon Age Origins. He's the voice of Grunt in Mass Effect 2. He does a few more voices in Mass Effect and in Dragon Age. He does Tom from the, the little robot from Cartoon Network. He's done Wolverine. He's done voices on Transformers. He's he's everywhere. So I wanted to, I was like, I want his autograph. I want a picture with Steve Bloom. So they had the line there for the Rebels. Uh, so I was like, let's do it. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to get in line to get a signature. An autograph with one of the Rebels was just $20. So I was like, okay, that's that's reasonable for me especially given who this is, you know, I was like, this is, this is huge for me just for $20. We stood in line and I had no clue that we were going to be in line for four hours. We were in line for four hours for a signature with one of the rebels, but it was so worth it because he's such a cool dude. <laughs> Me. I'm totally looking, looking, at, me? looking at you. Good. That's his side. That's not <laughs> but the thing that uh, it still eats at me, like it's still. Uh, I made a total fool of myself because I was like, oh my freaking God. I hope. He did not listen to me. I hope he didn't hear me. I hope he's got some character out there because he's played so many. I was like, I hope one of his characters' name is Rex. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I love Ogren and Rex. <laughs> I didn't even realize it then. Later, I was like, I felt my stomach sink. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> he voices Grunt, not Rex. <laughs> I was so mad at myself. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Like, he didn't even say anything. He was just like, wow, you know them all. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love Ogren and Rex and Spike and Tom. I got the rest of them right. But Rex. I was like, I really, really hope he plays a character named Rex. <laughs> somewhere i don't care how big or small this character is hopefully there's a character out there that's named rex <laughs> i'm sure he was probably like okay she's probably just nervous and she she meant grunt because i mean he saw how big of a fan i was so i'm i hope i keep telling myself like he probably knew that i meant grunt <sighs> <laughs> I mean, he was nice enough to do Ogren after that. He did Ogren after I said that. So that was good. If he had just been like, sign, get away from me. <laughs> I would have been, I would have cried so much. I literally would have gone back and I would have been like, I'm so sorry. I meant grunt because <laughs> I was really nervous. When he was doing Ogren, all I could do was just, I was like, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> when that happens in front of you, you're like, and it was amazing to see him do Ogren. He literally transformed. Because he's such a like easygoing guy. He's such a cool dude. He's so chill. And all of a sudden he turns into this 
like almost you could tell that he's drunk <laughs> i'm like that was brilliant that was so brilliant he says terrible things he does but he's amazing he didn't soil your ears too much today. Yeah, uh, okay. I love all he's all one big nut humper so if if for any reason Steve Bloom watches this, I am so sorry. I did not mean Rex. I meant Grunt. <laughs> so here is his autograph. There were pictures just of Zeb, his character, who is the middle, the middle monster. My brother was like, do you want one just with the Zeb? And I was like, no, I want this one with all three of them. Because eventually, if I ever meet Freddie Prince Jr., which I hope um, I do, I want him to sign this. So I was like, I want one with Kanan on there as well. I didn't get Sabine. Sabine was there. I think Sabine is such a cool character. <laughs> I was actually going to go dressed up as Sabine. <sighs> That's a whole nother freaking can of worms. Look at this piece of crap. Look at it. It's, it's horrible. I got this on Amazon and you cannot fix it. You want to see it on me? So you guys can see how epic it looks. You can see my nose is like squished to all hell. <laughs> I'm going to return this because this is just not cool. And the, the costume is actually a girl's costume, like a little girl's costume, like a ch children's costume. So it looks like Sabine's pajamas. I got a large and it barely fits me. So I was like, okay, I could do this. But um, I was going to be really uncomfortable. It says Carabast. That's something that Zeb says. So that's what I wanted. And I got more than I asked for. And he also got me this shirt, which I thought was really cool. Because he, he went to the panel uh, of battle, Battlefront. Fits me pretty damn big, but it's a good, it's a pretty cool pajama. He bought this for my younger brother. But I was like, yoink, mine. Thank you, bye. <laughs> it's really flimsy, though. It's actually... I, you guys have probably seen this because I've seen this, I think, on Think Geek, and I think I've seen it on Amazon as well. These are measuring cups and measuring, uh, like a measuring um, spoons or whatever. He pretty much just comes apart. And they're all cut, but the legs... But the legs are the spoons. But while we were waiting, my brother went to this Lego area. And he brought me back. He made a little Millennium Falcon for me. He said that every day there was something different. <laughs> How cute is that? Not freaking awesome. And it says Star Wars Celebration. Oh, I didn't, I didn't show you what my C-3PO does, did I? There was this little kid. Oh my god. I was like, that is so freaking cool. A little kid. He was probably like seven or eight, maybe. He was walking around in a rebel, like an X-Wing uh, uh, pilot suit. And he had, I don't know how the hell they did this, but around his waist was an X-Wing made out of... Um, it was like a balloon, like, you know, like balloon animals, but a, an X-Wing, like a big old X-Wing. So it looked like he was walking around in an X-Wing, but it was made out of balloons. Everyone was like, that's something you don't see every day. <laughs> it looked so cool. I was like, man, whoever did that, that is so good. So overall, I had a great time. It was so much fun. I'm so glad I went. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you. And I'll talk to you guys later.
to see your ugly face, dude. <laughs>